federal prosecutors claim no escape for Sean Diddy Combs in ongoing legal battle. Sean Diddy Combs, the renowned founder of Bad Boy Records, is embroiled in a significant legal fight, having pleaded not guilty to multiple serious charges, including racketeering conspiracy and sex trafficking. Each of these counts carries the potential for a life sentence, in addition to a separate charge of transportation for purposes of prostitution. Federal prosecutors assert that Combs' arrest on September 16th is just the latest chapter in a lengthy pursuit of justice that has spanned over a decade, and they indicate that their investigation into his alleged misconduct is ongoing and far from complete. Damian Williams, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, laid out the disturbing nature of the allegations against Combs during a press conference held on September 17th. He described a troubling pattern of behavior by the 54-year-old music mogul, asserting that between 2008 and the present day, Combs has engaged in a series of abusive, coercive, and threatening acts against numerous victims in order to fulfill his sexual desires, safeguard his reputation, and obscure his illicit conduct. The indictment details allegations that Combs utilized an extensive network of employees within his expansive business empire, as well as associates, to conceal various criminal activities, which allegedly include sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Williams emphasized that the indictment paints a picture of Combs as someone who has exploited and abused women and other individuals for years, employing threats, coercion, and force to compel victims into extended sexual performances with male commercial sex workers. According to the indictment, these encounters were referred to in Combs' circles as freak-offs which could reportedly last for days and were often accompanied by the administration of drugs such as ketamine, ecstasy, and GHB to ensure that the victims remain compliant and obedient. In response to the serious charges, Combs' attorney, Mark Agnifilo, described his client as an imperfect person but firmly maintained that he is not a criminal Agnifilo expressed disappointment with the decision to pursue what he termed an unjust prosecution, urging the public to reserve judgment until all facts are known. He noted that Combs has cooperated with authorities even traveling to New York in anticipation of facing charges. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. Agnifilo asserted, emphasizing that Combs looks forward to clearing his name in court. Currently, Combs has been denied bail on two separate occasions and remains incarcerated at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. His legal team has submitted a third request for bail, which is presently under consideration by a three-judge panel, as reported by PBS News. During a status hearing on October 10th, Judge Arun Subramanian scheduled Combs' trial to commence on May 5, 2025. When questioned about the anticipated duration of the trial, Assistant U.S. Attorney Emily Johnson indicated it would likely take approximately three weeks but noted that a superseding indictment could introduce additional charges. The allegations against Combs took a more serious turn following the filing of multiple lawsuits, including a high-profile complaint by his former girlfriend Cassandra Cassie Ventura last November. Although the parties reached a settlement just one day after the lawsuit was filed, the nature of the allegations outlined in Cassie's complaint painted a disturbing picture of their relationship. This was reportedly only the tip of the iceberg, as further investigations have emerged regarding Combs' actions over the years. When asked by reporters why it took so long for law enforcement to initiate a thorough investigation into Combs, U.S., Attorney Williams stated, I can't tell you why it took so long. I think the better focus is on the fact that we are here today and we are committed to making sure that justice is done. Sean Diddy Combs remanded following plea. After Sean Diddy Combs entered a not guilty plea to charges of sex trafficking and racketeering conspiracy on September 17th, his legal team proposed a substantial $50 million bond package. This package included equity in his residences in Miami and his mother's house and sought to limit his travel to certain regions within Florida, New York, and New Jersey. The defense further offered to provide evidence demonstrating Combs' lack of flight risk and the absence of danger to the community. However, U.S. Magistrate Judge Robin F. Tarnofsky rejected the proposed bond package ordering that Combs be remanded without bail. Consequently, he remains in custody at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Combs' lawyer addresses clients' personal challenges. During court proceedings, Combs' attorney, Mark Agnifilo, acknowledged the rapper's struggles, stating, he is not a perfect person. He admitted that there has been drug use and mentioned that Combs has been involved in toxic relationships. Agnifilo assured the court that Combs is currently undergoing treatment and therapy for things that he needs treatment and therapy for despite the circumstances. Agnifilo reported that Combs is in good spirits expressing confidence in the unfolding legal process. Seizure of disturbing evidence. In a troubling revelation, 
More than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and personal lubricant were confiscated during raids conducted on Combs homes in Los Angeles and Miami in March 2024. According to the indictment, this stockpile was allegedly intended for use in the aforementioned freak-offs, where Combs purportedly orchestrated sexual encounters with women he allegedly coerced and threatened. In response to the significant quantity of lubricant seized, Agnifilo questioned the rationale behind such a large number, speculating, I don't know where the number 1,000 came from, and suggesting that Combs simply bought in bulk due to his large homes. He added, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home attempting to downplay the severity of the evidence. However, Costco distanced itself from the situation, clarifying that none of its U.S. stores carry baby oil. Allegations of assault surface in court. Further complicating matters, in May 2024, CNN released surveillance footage from a hotel incident in 2016 that seemingly depicted Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. This incident matched an allegation outlined in her lawsuit, filed on November 16, 2023, with the two parties swiftly reaching a settlement the following day. In response to the released footage, Combs took to social media, stating, I was f kid up. I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. He claimed to have sought therapy and rehab since the incident, asserting his commitment to becoming a better person. During a hearing on September 18th concerning Combs' second bail request, Assistant U.S. Attorney Johnson disclosed that Combs allegedly sent texts in the days following the assault, stating, Call me, the cops are here, and I have six kids. Call, I'm surrounded. While Johnson refrained from mentioning Cassie by name, she noted that Combs' victim responded via text, saying, Sick you think it's okay to what you've done bail was denied again, this time by U.S. District Judge Andrew L. Carter Jr. Trial Proceedings and Future Implications The legal saga took another turn when the Combs case was reassigned to Judge Arun Subramanian on October 3rd, as Judge Carter was unable to accommodate the requested trial date. During the October 10th status hearing, Judge Subramanian set the trial date for May 5, 2025. Prosecutor Johnson conveyed to the court her expectation that the trial would span approximately three weeks. However, she cautioned that the possibility of a superseding indictment could result in additional charges being leveled against Combs. Agnifilo, Combs' attorney, asserted in court that they would need about a week to present their defense case. He also mentioned that Combs is eager to testify in his own defense, stating, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. I think he is very eager to tell his story. As the legal battle continues, the implications of the allegations and the unfolding proceedings remain a focal point of public interest, with many awaiting the developments that lie ahead in Combs' case.